Well, the so-called revolving door in Shelby County's justice system front and center again, this time involving an 18-year-old who's facing 34 charges, including first-degree murder. Just weeks ago, police say he was involved in another shooting in North Memphis. Memphis police arrested Justin Blue this past Friday after a tip to Crime Stoppers. They say he admitted being one of the shooters responsible for killing a man in Northeast Memphis. Blue is scheduled for court tomorrow, and our Stefan Reels is at 201 Poplar Forest right now. Stefan, this has been a bone of contention, as we all know, between Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland and Shelby County DA Steve Mulroy. How are Memphians you talk to reacting to this latest case involving Justin Blue. Well, Richard, as Blue awaits his trial here at the Shelby County Jail behind me, Memphians I spoke to today are wanting to see stricter actions across the board, whether it comes to gun reform or actions from city leaders. And they want to see city leaders in question intervene before history repeats itself. It's scary out here. After her own experience being held at gunpoint, News of Justin Blue's arrest has people like Tamikia Bynum Kendrick on edge. Knowing just more than a month ago, the 18-year-old and three others unleashed several gunshots at the Tiger Mart gas station where she now stands. They don't have a chance. Like these kids walking around with guns bigger than them. According to a collection of Memphis police affidavits, this wasn't Blue's first interaction with authorities. Just a month before, he was involved in a string of car break-ins along Poplar, including several in the Crunch Fitness parking lot. And just a few weeks after Tiger Mart, Blue was again involved in another shooting on North McNeil Street. Today, Bynum Kendrick is hoping Blue will be held accountable. Handle it. Prosecute them right now. You know, save their lives, please. Save my life, too. So if it takes me to be prosecuted or whoever else, we need to pay for what we do. There is legislation that has happened in Nashville over the last several years that have made you know, the proliferation of guns and crime and violence so much more accessible. ABC 24 caught up with activist Earl Fisher, who says a path forward will need to be a collective conversation and effort between political, legal, and community leaders, especially when it comes to the type of weapons that find their way into Memphis neighborhoods. There ain't no Uzis made in Harlem. You know, ain't no Winchester rifles made in Whitehaven. Ain't no Dracos made in Dixie Home. And so this is not the time to be offering up, you know, microwave solutions to crockpot problems. At the moment, Richard, no bond is set for those first degree murder charges for Blue. However, the 18 year old still faces $100,000 in bond for the other charges. Live at the Shelby County Jail, I'm Stefan Reels.